What is up guys, welcome back to the Motorhead YouTube channel. So today guys, we got a pretty cool project in the shop and it's this huge Ram 2500. It's a super beautiful truck and it's a Cummins diesel. And it had a little bit of an accident with the gooseneck trailer and the trailer fell and smashed both bedsides as you can see. And it's honestly not too bad. If this was my truck, I'd get a quarter power and get it out, get that piece fitting and throw a little coat of mud. But this is a brand new truck and the customer wants two brand new bedsides and the bedsides are in the paint booth right now and I do need to replace both of them. He just wanted it to be perfect with no filler on it, which it will still have some, but that's just over welds and stuff and it's very tiny and, and all the seams and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bed off. It's a lot of work. So we're gonna do that today, get it off and get it on some stands. That way I can change the sides out by myself tomorrow and I won't need no help. So I'm gonna go ahead and start stripping down the rear. Also, the customer wants these square three painted. As you can see, they're way off. This is like light silver and that's dark. So it does not look good. Even though plastic never matches really, but we, I think Don can get it closer and you have this rubber seal here so it's not really butting into it. And that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Don got his finger in the shot for a minute. <laughs> of course he did. Dang, thought, dang, this finger's in there. Is it? Yeah. They are. Is, yeah. This is plastic. Man, yeah, they try to. No, no that bumper ain't plastic. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Well, I am. Don's just going to sit here and watch. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. Yeah, I do. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get the rear off, and then tomorrow I'm going to start drilling it out. and. There's a bedside over there that I'm doing on that Ram 1500, and I don't like bedsides, and then suddenly two came in, but I am on commission, so it is nice. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so big shout out to the guys over at Cleveland Tire and Don, we got this thing off and we are ready. So tomorrow I'm gonna come in super early, get this thing stripped down and ready. And Don is currently prepping the bedsides. So we're gonna go check it out. All right guys, so we have the bedsides right here. Before we put them on, we do need to hit them with the E-coat on the back, that way they're covered. That primer is not meant to be exposed to the elements and over time it messes up. So Don's gonna hit this with E-coat and get the inside coated before we start working on it. And it's gonna be nice and right. So I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. So here is the final result with the E-coat. And as you can see, this is how they do it from the factory. And this is the actual paint coat and everything for this truck. So super nice. And now it's ready. We're gonna go ahead and prep all this tomorrow, punch out all the holes. Well, I say punch, but we're gonna drill. Fortunately, I don't have a punch, but I am gonna get one soon. That's actually something that I really need for bedsides. And we're gonna go ahead and get all this done and knocked out tomorrow. That way Don can paint it Monday. All right, guys, next day here, and we are ready to go ahead and start getting this thing off. So we have to get all these spot welds off. We're gonna get this piece off. There's a bunch of spot welds up there and up through here and a couple on the bottom. Shouldn't be too bad, but first, I do wanna get a porter power and straighten this out right here. That way, when we take it off, everything is gonna be good. And also, I'm curious to see how well this would come out and if it'd be hard to just bondo it, which we're not gonna, obviously, but it is nice because I am a little curious. And there's some room right here to just push that bad boy up. So we're gonna push it up 
before we do anything and then we'll strip everything down and drill it out. All right guys, so I got everything drilled out. Oh, except I did forget that Dodge has them right here. So I have a couple there, but other than that, everything's drilled out. Everything's going super smoothly. I'm going to get the air chisel and knock this bedside off. And then I'll go ahead and start knocking that one off. I want to get both of them done. Like I want to fit this one and have it ready. Then move on to that one and have that one fit, weld it together and everything. It's going very smoothly. Uh, you want to really make sure if you're going to do this, that you go very deep not too deep obviously so you still have room to weld but that way when it comes off it comes off super smoothly and you're not mangling your metal and guys check this out so this was one or two pushes with the porter power and it started coming out already obviously needed a little bit more there and then just do some metal work i honestly could have fixed this bedside very easily and it would have been super nice but honestly it is what it is. I actually get more hours doing the bedsides and make more money. So to me, it really doesn't matter. And I'm bringing you guys content. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these out. We're gonna get the air hammer and start knocking this off. Check this out i got the bedside just test fit i wanted to see how it is over here where it was damaged and i did dolly it out and this slip right here just needs to be straightened and now i can see that it does still need to go up a little bit so we're gonna keep working it and get it right i do want it to fit perfectly first but other than that everything is lining up super nice this bed does need to go up a little i'm gonna get it to the original spot and then obviously we're gonna test fit the tailgate make sure it's correct but it's turning out super awesome we do need some weld through primer so i'm gonna have some o'reilly's order some i know in my last bedside video a lot of people were telling me that and i am learning guys a lot of this stuff i'm doing for the first time working here at this shop and i'm learning a lot so we're gonna get some weld through primer get it fitting right then we'll drill all the holes and prep everything and we're not gonna weld it in i'm just gonna self tap everything and we're gonna do that side and i'm gonna weld it all together
All right, so we got the holes drilled out and the bed lining up super good. Everything looks awesome through here, nice and even, and it looks great. This side is messed up because that needs to be pushed out, so we're gonna work that out. But what I do wanna do is go ahead and get the marker and mark all the holes for the welds. That way I can clean everything and weld through prime it. Then when this quarter, I mean not this quarter, this bedside comes off, it'll come on for one final time. I have self tappers so I can put it back exactly where I had it. And then we'll do one final test fit before we weld. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything marked, get it back on here and get it all self tapped and get it on here for good and start on the other side. Well, I kind of got ahead of myself, guys, and welded this one in. So this is ready for body work. We're gonna move on to this side. And since I already showed you guys the process for removing that one, we're just gonna do a little bit of editing. And just like this, we got the bed side off and we're gonna go ahead and prep all this, grind everything down, drill that out, and get this thing welded in because it's been already taking a lot longer than I expected. And I hate doing bed sides and here I am doing two, but we're trying to get this done and primed that way Don can paint it Monday morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepped real quick. We'll drill holes in that other bedside and get this thing welded in. All right, so we got our even gap. It lines up perfectly flush with the door. Check that out, that looks absolutely beautiful. And here, we did have to do a little bit of finesse work because this whole area right here was crumpled in. It was a lot worse than that side, but it's all good now and I have all my markings. I'm gonna take this bad boy off and drill it out and we're gonna get all this welded in and start the annoying part, which is grinding down all the welds and getting it ready for primer. So. We're gonna stop talking and get to work on it. All right guys, so finally the bedside is welded in and I'm gonna go ahead and ground down all these welds. As you can see, we have welds going through everywhere. Everything is nice. I went over everything, double checked everything and everything is looking awesome. I'm gonna grind down all these welds and we're gonna fill in the ones that need to be filled in. 
and tape this thing up and get it primed because it is getting laid on us and I'm trying to get this done and get out of here. All right guys, so I got all my welds grinded down and as you can see right here in the nooks and crannies of everything, there are some low spots but we're about to fill those. But we do need to get rid of all of the burns and everything. And that's what we use the wire wheel for because over time that will crack either the paint or the filler, whatever you put on it. So what that'll do is it'll clean all of the contaminants and the burn metal out. So we're gonna do that on everything and then we're gonna fill it up and then sand it down and prime this and this will be ready for paint and it'll be ready for dawn on Monday. All right, guys, this thing is finally done, and man, I'm so happy. It is time to get home. It is late, but now it is ready for dawn, Monday morning. This actually gives me a huge head start on next week because I have a lot of work to do, and I'm really glad I got this done on Saturday. That way, Monday, I come in, and I can focus on this bedside and a couple of other big jobs I got. So, yeah, this is a big job, and I, like I said, I do work on commission now, so this is going to be really nice head start for next Monday. So super happy with this, gonna untape. Actually, I probably won't even untape it. I'll just let it dry. We'll deal with that Monday. But yeah, I'm really tired. But I do wanna give you guys the E30 update and also check this out, guys. I just copped this new box the other day. As you guys know, I love Milwaukee and I was running out of space in my other toolbox. As you can see, it isn't really too full. I just got screwdrivers and other stuff which a lot of this stuff is around this car bed right here because i did use a lot of tools on this it's like i said pretty big job so yeah this thing is pretty sick i love it it's got the soft clothes and my other toolbox is right here this little tiny one and i was running out of room so i went and picked up this thing i got a lot of milwaukee tools as you guys know that's all i use milwaukee same with v-tuned and 23rd garage but yeah i had to get their box it's pretty dope it also has like a little outlet thing on the side and this thing is going to be awesome for my use you know with all my tools and everything and it's super nice and i i know i may seem a little unorganized right now because i've just been running around here and there and i will pick all this up monday but six months i haven't lost a single tool so definitely nice to have a much bigger box now where i can fit everything in its own drawer and yeah we're gonna go over there and i'm gonna give you guys a little e30 update I know everyone's been asking about that thing and I have some unfortunate news and some good news. All right guys, this is my E30 M3 replica and as you know, this is a really huge build on the channel and it's the build that started the channel and as you know, the E30 M3 is my absolute dream car. Ever since I was little, I always wanted it, even when it wasn't super expensive and then they just skyrocketed in value and I always thought, you know, I'll never be able to buy one, so whatever, I'll build a fake one and a lot of work has been put into this car and unfortunately guys i do have a buyer for it a very serious buyer and you may be upset and hear me out guys i have the opportunity to buy an authentic clean title e30 m3 with pretty much all the original parts on it it's just something that i never ever thought i would be able to get but it just really it just came up and i'm working out a deal right now and i really want that car I hope you guys will understand and still support me because at the end of the day, no matter what I do to this, it will always be an M3 replica and getting a real original M3 is just mind blowing. So I know a lot of people are going to be upset and if you want to unfollow me, you know, unfortunately it's, it sucks that you do, but if you do, it's your choice at the end of the day. If you want to still support me, like I said, this is a dream of mine and I just, it doesn't make sense to have both of them. It's actually really good condition. It barely needs any work. It needs a, it's pretty much the same as this one and it needs a full paint job. And it's just 
a no brainer to just get it. And obviously I can't be juggling two builds at once and I can't put all my energy into both of them because I want to make a perfect car. And what better car to make than an original real M3 with a clean title and it has all the original parts on it. So yeah, I have a buyer for this car is from New York and he's gonna come and get it. And that's gonna be the end of it. But he is gonna S54 swap it and complete it. So I will be keeping you up to date with this car and what happens to it. And we're gonna stay tuned till we get that real M3. And that's just gonna be super awesome. And it's gonna be really a huge milestone in my life. So hope you guys enjoy the content. If you wanna stick around and see more, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the like to help the video. And you can follow us on Instagram at motorhead.co. I post a lot of this stuff before the video drops. I'll link it down below. Appreciate all the love and support, and thanks for watching. Peace.